Finally, the legendary cursed artifact. Is it video games? Yeah. Cool games. Wow. <laughs> Museum is now open. Haunted PS1 Demo is 2021. Admission is free. Visit now, and you might even leave alive. <laughs>the trailer was made by Boya Horror slash um, Ivo Sari. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name incorrectly. He was uh, actually one of the developers of the previous demo of this as well. He worked on Saw 2000. And the um, ending graphic there was also made by uh, Germ Food, who is not of the demo of this, but I did previously play his game <laughs> uh, Night of the Consumers before. But hi, everyone. Here we are starting with the demo disc. Hold on for one second. I can hear myself. Let's not do that. You can? Okay. My bad. Uh, the game should be up now, right? Yep, okay. We don't want Mini Noir trying to, out to upstage me here. And uh, here we are. I would usually start with the credits, but I did do some Pokemon the menu itself just to get myself familiar with it a little bit. I'm afraid that I might cut out the intro though. But I'll leave the I'll uh, save the I'll save the credits for like the way on everything for later. Let's start. Oh no, they. Yeah, it's not going to play the intro. Um, I tried. I didn't realize that it was just not going to not have uh, Scully here, the uh, the skeleton for the trailer. But there's not really much I can do besides just saying that he uh, showed up. <laughs> saying uh, no smoking, no dying in the museum, standard procedure. I forgot there was anything in the background, actually. So I'm sorry that we already missed something. I think I should probably talk with that about the developers. <laughs> I forgot there's anything in the background or not. So I'm just making sure before we get into the uh, main area of the museum. Right. 
right. Okay, let's take the elevator up. I think the credits are down low, but uh, real quick, basically to sum up, uh, the person who did all these, who did the um, main museum thing was uh, Bryce Butcher, who, as we saw in the as we saw in the trailer, also has a game, so we'll be able to give him a bit more spotlight there. And he also made Fade and Petua from the last game as well. So this is for one. What game should we start with? As far as I know, there's absolutely no order to these things. Part of me wants to start with Warren's Lure because I already promised to play this game back in February. And I just never got the chance. <laughs> But the demo disc is providing me the chance right now. Yeah, I love it too. Warren's Lure. An android is led through a vast structure by a glitch in his visual system. Warren's Lure is an atmospheric narrative first person platformer with novel quantity mechanics and modernized retro 3D graphics. And as you can see on the right, it also has content warnings for each game, which is fantastic. Thankfully, uh. <laughs> Dark Fiends is a little vague, but I guess that would be fine. And the developer is Rebuki, whose name that I've also heard plenty of times and never really got a chance to play for those games. Before I walk through the door real quick, I also want to point out the lore right with the little haunted PS1 ghost. I love that little detail. And let's begin. Game number one, Lawrence Lair. Oh. Well, this is new to me. I just kind of assumed we'd be taken right into the game, but I don't think this is it. <laughs> We're still in the hot to PS1 menu, judging by the ghost. I'm sorry, I saw the icon of the ghost chains so I was wondering what was going on there okay take your time beautiful Uh, what? Okay, the game opened up. Give me one second, I just had to capture it real fast. Game should be up free, two, one, there we go. Okay, this is an alpha demo, and as such, does not have features that the final version will contain. This is a list of what you will, of what is not in the demo. <laughs> Controller support, finalized graphics, graphics settings. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to wishlist on Steam. You can find it on Steam. Look up Warren Swear. And here we are. Okay. And before going into the first game, I also want to mention as well, just as a preemptive like thing that do keep in mind that these are demos so some games might not be as finalized as others we've kind of there was kind of an issue with the first demo disc where some people went in fully expecting like you know really in-depth gameplay of each game i feel like that's a bad expectation to have i'm not saying i'm not saying that you know critique is unwelcome just do keep that in mind and with that said Let's jump right into it. Press F11 for window mode. Okay. I first saw it in the forest on the outskirts of my home colony. Hey, 
and followed it into an abyss. It led me downward beyond retrieval before finally disappearing. I have been lost for 253 years. No guide. The place where I'm not supposed to be. I need to find it again before my energy core expires. Well, I mean, if you've been over here for nearly three, 300 years, it's all I have left. You must have one huge fucking battery charge, damn. There is no going back. What's up? W.S.A. to move and move mouse to so look around. Okay. I can lower the uh, game audio. I'm sorry. Uh, does that sound better? Alright, so uh, where do we go from here? So I'm assuming that just immediately jumping off into the abyss is not where to go. Hold left control to slow down. Maybe in the bit lower. Okay. I have a feeling that this might be a little bit of a problem with the stream. <laughs> where I'm going to be adjusting that volume control a lot. To talk a waypoint hints. Okay. After reaching one, you need to press H again to show the next one. These are entirely optional. Use them if you are very lost. Perfect. The game just uh, dropping down the safe as long as the floor isn't too far below. The game has its own back seating and put it in. Press space to jump. Hold it down to jump a little higher. Okay. I don't know who just followed me because my stream is not stream elements is failing its job. Uh, thank you for the follow up, Uno Arcana. A steadfast support. God damn it, guys! And Sherfood, hey, I actually just mentioned you a few like a few minutes ago. Precision jumps may take a few simulations. Press R to restart quicker. Okay. So R to restart. Hold space to jump a little higher. You will slide on steeply angled surfaces. Yep. I'm assuming we go down this way. That's maybe up. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, howdy. How's your day been today, germ food? Oh. I'm just trying to figure out how to... First off, where to go. I didn't mean to restart there. My bad. Do we jump? I didn't get the jump in properly there. 
This game's got such a vibe to it. I agree. There we go. I tried doing that and then I already failed the first few times. Like, an attempt or so. You know, aesthetically speaking, this game is fantastic. Alright, that did not kill me. That's great. I took a big risk there. And I'm glad it paid off. Gonna start to get stuck into the games when the disc is finished downloading. Gotcha. Man, I've been hyped about this for such a long time. It's surreal to me that it finally came out. I'm assuming that's not too big of a drop. Yep. Unfortunately, we couldn't show off the um, the Scully intro when you entered the museum. We did show off the trailer, though. That email took a while for it, to, for it to load on my screen, so I didn't even see that you were trying to wave at him. Uh, here we go. The one instance where I'm going to die a whole lot of times. At least we're getting it out of the way early, right? You know, maybe it wasn't the brightest idea for me to start with a platforming game. This <laughs> person looking forward to the speed runs of this game. Uh, don't expect one from me. If you, unless you want a slow run. Can we get over there? It seems like there's two ways to go. I also hide the Devour games, I'm sorry. I, even pick up that you that it was you who wrote that. Press E to pick up the climbing picks. You can use these to move around on walls. Jump into the wall and press E to cling into it onto it. Then move to the lights with WC to learn more. All right, there we go. Notice stamina bar under your target reticle. Once it depletes, your energy will run out and you will let go. You can press the space bar while looking down to let go for over a safe platform. Yeah, this is really cool. That's why like when I saw this game, I was like excited to try it out. Not everything is climbable. You can hover your target reticle over a material to check if it's climbable. If it turns orange, the wall is climbable. If it turns red, it is not. Okay. So that's not climbable, but that is. Neat. You I do? Yeah. This is one of the games that I was most looking forward to. There's something else here, it seems. You can use the picks to go back where you entered this section. Maybe there's another way you can travel further. Although I can see this happening where... <laughs> like, it easy to confuse. You can jump off from a wall hold. Simply aim in the direction you want to jump in and press the space bar. If you aim above your waist, you will apply a jump force in the direction you are aiming. If you look below your waist, you will 
the ledge. Be able to just let go. Try aiming at an angle above your waist and make the jump to the ledge. Oh, I just noticed that, um... His... I only just noticed that the top is keeping track of my depths as well as the, uh, the time. <laughs> you can see me around the structures to reach the other side. Neat. Alright, let's go down here. There we go. And let's see what this one says, if anything. All right. Um, yeah, let's go this way. This is so much fun. I liked all the games in the demo disc, but the ones with gameplay, the gameplay really stuck out to me. Like, um, Tasty Ramen was fun. I liked the FPS games as well. If you miss a jump, just keep pressing W and you may grab the ledge to save yourself. Gotcha. I can't wait to not remember any of these. I mean, come on, I'm a streamer. The game's asking too much for me. When I just want to be alone. Gotcha. Me, I like embarrassing myself, so here we are. <laughs> you know, try to prove to you guys I'm good at video games and utterly failing at that. Wasn't this the way that we just came from, actually? Yes, it was. I was about to say, like, this is very familiar. So, where exactly am I going? That's my next question. See like a light over there. I tried to see if I could get onto the wall. No, okay, I can't. Can't quite do that. I'm just kind of figure, trying to figure out where to go from here. So I guess we go back this way. I mean, there's this. Yeah, so we shimmy through our that way. I didn't quite mean to do that. Alright, that hint doesn't say anything else. How about we just go up? Then we go back up here. I almost dismissed that.
We're not making this, are we? No. And uh, thank you for the follow, Nemo. How are you doing today? So was I not supposed to come back over here? Because it said that there was nothing when we got to the other side there. Again, here's where the... Where we got the picks. They could say go back to the start. Okay. I'm sorry, like, I was just a little confused. Alright, so if we go back to the start, we went that way. Sorry, let's not do that. <laughs> I bow. Alright, so we can go try to go back to the start. I guess we'll take the long way. Game, 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 game. Please, 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 please. Why can't I get on that ledge? Well, that wasn't quite the way I wanted to get over here. I wanted to do something cool and I failed at doing that. Yeah, I get that you don't want to avoid spoilers, but it's fine. Thank you for stopping by, though. It means a lot to me. I am very nervous. <laughs> I almost missed that jump. I missed that one though. Alright, uh, death number 40, or 20, rather. I'm um, soon to be death number 40. You know, don't. <laughs> I'm expecting that. Alright, let's go up. stuff. Okay, good. We recovered. Um, let's drop here. And I didn't have a plan after that. Good, I forgot to check to see if I can climb on that. There we go. Okay.
Let's try to go lower than that. What do we got over there? Just wanted to make sure I can land on that. Hello. Oh. Research log, colony 8615. Years of research have not yielded anything about the purpose of the structure. I need to scale the research network to get more data. If you are reading this, I have moved to the lower levels of a partner to achieve this objective. There is an engineer staying behind in order to maintain the existing station in this area, as well as communication with a home colony. Alright, so it looks like we will be meeting them. Somewhere lower, it said. That's just a light. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm drawn to the light. <laughs> like a moth. Because light usually means where to go, right? So there's these, all these up there, but there's also stuff down here. Eh, fuck it. We'll go down. I guess. Oof, that could have ended badly. Let's be thankful it did not. And I missed that. Because of course I did. Hey, all the devs in the chat, if you want to see somebody stream your games and play them badly, I'm here for you. Guys are covered. <laughs> That's basically me in a nutshell. What are you? I was starting to believe I down, died down here without seeing it again. Oh yeah, see, um, the <laughs> but here it is. Area cleared. Failed simulation 22. Yep. That was fun. Like I said, a lot of these are going to be rather short because, again, they are demos. But as a proof, so viewing it as a proof of, proof of concept, I would love to see more of this game. This game was a blast. I kind of got lost for a little, for a little while there. And that's basically like my only real complaint. <laughs> I guess I actually wonder what was up there as well. What happens if we quick continue? Does it restart entirely or? No, it drops us back here. Okay. I'm going to see what's up real quick. Um, is there a way we can get back up there? Yeah, we can get up. Wish list out of 10? I've already wish listed it. I actually downloaded the demo from Steam, but I never, like I said, I never got around to playing it. And I can see what I'm missing out. Okay, 
because this game is as fun as it looks. Yep. I made the uh, Haunted PS1 command basically just for this stream in mind, but I also frequently play Haunted PS1 games from other devs. In fact, I know some of the devs of the games that we will be playing later. Again, I'm trying to figure out how to get back because I want to go up there. Because there's an area up there that I didn't get to explore. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was expecting to slide off that easily. You know, if I could do that without um, basically restarting the entire game over, that would be great. There we go. And I <laughs> panicked and pressed that restart by accident. Now it's just me falling off. No excuses to be made there. Would be so good. Yeah, really. I am trying so hard. I don't think I can climb this wall. Or climb this, uh, I don't know what to call it. But I will do it. The game is telling me no, but I say yes. Well, all right. <laughs> We're gonna press eat this shot down then. <laughs> Maybe we have time. We can re we can restart this game and try to get there. By the way, I'm still sticking with my pause at this game. A lot of fun. Would recommend. Can't wait for the full version. And I guess that's it. Also, yeah, the visuals of the game was ama were amazing as well. I wonder if it's going to be like this for every game where... It just has its own dedicated area. Because if it is, that would be amazing.